I have returned. Apparently lost sound. There we go. <clears throat> that was a really short-lived storm. It's already Pretty gone. Sure it's supposed to be on and off. Uh, yeah, you can't ever say it's gone until the sky is actually a little more clear. Nature's scary. Mm-hmm. Alright, kill the sponge things. Nice. Only in the second one, too. Yeah. 
forgot he cut his tail off. Huh? I forgot he cut his tail off. Yeah, it's because in ride it's so fucking hard. I don't remember carving the tail, but apparently I did. Is that the one he went to? I guess not. Here he is. Well, he just disappeared into the waterfall, so... No clue where the hell he just went. You can go through that. The more you know. Yeah, I captured him. I wasn't sure if you were actually AFK or not, so I don't want to risk it. I don't know what the despawn timer on him are. I was on the phone. Mm -hmm. I think having trouble trying to do it with one hand, so I just stopped. Top of it. Yeah, we haven't had to do it twice. It would have taken much longer than just killing it.
like this. Give goldfish. Or small goldfish. Either is fine. <laughs> Told you, this is our life now. Oh my god. I found the ancestor of the Paratoad. Here come that boy. I collect it now. There's a bunch of Jaga and Shura right here in Area 2. I'm going to just say, like, let's find Jaga, because we only need five of them. <laughs> just kill them and fuck off. Yeah, I think the Jaga, or whatever, are the male ones. And there's two of them here. The bigger ones. Yeah. That's oh, one. One more.
Oh, I couldn't carve anything. Great. Hey, it's the Zeros. Oh, nice. Alright, three more Jaggy or Jaga, whatever. Big boys. Yeah, I got the last one right here. Or not. Oh, it's eight, not five. Well, that's probably the last they're going to spawn here for a bit. There's another one here with the Zeros. Nice. No, the hell out of the fishing spot. We haven't killed Mizoros yet, have we? No. Oh, there's the last guy I got. Got it. Fast. Yeah, he's dying already. I wonder if they have less health because they're not the main target. I know Rise does that. Oh, that obviously doesn't mean that this game does it. Well, you killed him, and you saved me. Fucker's gonna steal the honey I don't have. Get up! Yeah, well, I'm good. <laughs> that thing must do a lot of damage, because you're doing the finisher with it pretty easily. Here, oh. I was just looking it up. Because I've been trying to figure out what, if it's, like, worth actually using. I mean, it seems like it does a lot, so... Other than that, you're getting really lucky consistently.
Eight more. Shoot out a cannonball from a barrel with 60 damage. That's not bad this early. I wonder if it does true damage or if it's like mitigated by some sort of defense. I don't know, I had to dig up just to find that little bit. So for all I know, what I just read to you is even wrong. Yeah, possibly. For all we know, it's possibly based on your weapon's damage. For all you know, it's literally a roll of the dice. Yeah. You might just one-shot the enemy no matter what. It could be Gen 1 Splash, the rumor surrounding it. You can't actually hit your opponent with Splash, and if you do, it insta-kills their Pokemon. It's like... <gasps> so many really stupid urban legends about those games back then. Or not even That's just Pokemon. What, made the game what was that? That's what made the game special, though. That's what made the game like keep selling. Mm -hmm. All kinds of weird like, well, shit about it. Figure, yeah, I want to figure out the weird shit and be the one that spreads the rumors. <laughs> I want to be the kid of the fucking, the fucking, uh, school playground. I want to be the one guy in the entire school that has Mew. Because I figured out how to fucking glitch my way to it. That stupid rumor where, uh, like if you could move the truck in the, uh, port. Yeah. Or, uh, not port. The, like, ship area, whatever the hell the building was called. If you could somehow move that truck, you could fight and capture Mew. There's a lot. It was the one with, uh, that missing gnome. With missing gnome, you can get Mew. Uh, fight Professor Oak. Well, that was supposed to be a, an actual thing. Yeah, and people actually... That one wasn't just an urban legend. That one's actually true. If you glitch it, you can actually fight Professor Oak. Like, doesn't he have Pokemon that are, like, over level 100, too? Over level 100? I know he has, like, the highest level Pokemon in the game. Like, he's higher than a champion, higher than Elite Four and all of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was that game's version of what Rhett became. Yeah. I do know you could glitch red and blue to get Pokemon beyond level 100. Yeah. You wanna know what's funny? Hmm. That's how I was introduced to Pokemon. Really? What'd you do? Uh, fight a friend who had like a level 300 Charizard? My buddy David um, wanted me to play Pokemon. I was like, oh sure, I'll, I'll try it out. This is before I bought gold. Right. Uh. So, his sister let me borrow her Pokemon Blue, and he would have Pokemon Red. And he had a level 198 Charizard versus my level 52. <laughs> what a dick. Venusaur? <laughs> or um, Ivysaur, or whatever fuck its final form is. Venusaur. Venusaur, yeah. What a dick. Yeah. And I thought that was like legitly as the higher, like, he was like, oh, I'm not even max level. So I was like, you can go higher. I was kind of super excited. Like, oh, this is like a really long RPG for like the handle. That's sick. 
Well, did you know he's a fucking cheater? Yeah, he's a fucking cheater, and I was fooled into getting Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, uh. What do we have? <laughs> we have the Prowler missions left to do. Where you have to be the cat. Oh, for one star? Yeah. I was about to say, I have a bunch of two star missions. What are you talking about? <laughs> Alright, let's go become the cat. I don't want it. I don't want it either. Oh, we do have to leave for it too, don't we? Yeah. Bob, shall we play Prowler? <laughs> Become as Bob. God, I hate the way they fucking walk. Yeah. We can be best friends. Just following you around. Huh. The fuck is that? And it's creepy too because like you go from that, and then when you start holding the run button, you just go to like a full fucking sprint. Yeah, man. It freaked me out. It's great, right? Or are you mean to the cats? Are fucking weird. <laughs> A bunch of new stuff with the exchange items, nice. Ice crystals, screamer sack, wavering fang, wavering claw, bird wavering fang, eye prey fang, gun prey fang, and shit. Nice. Have the hub open again. You received a special permit. Thanks. Every time you fight a monster, I can get a deviant for the fucking researcher gets like a fucking hard on. Mm hmm. It's like, oh, dude, bro. Oh, did you know? It's like, well, you know, after talking to you, I wish I didn't. Change my weapon, damn it. Oh, 
fucking cat's better at shadow boxing than I am. What's this garbage? It's terrible. See what I said? It's just instant, just archival shit. How dare you reject my friendship? Fucking creepy. <laughs> I know there's people that really want this back to be a thing again. I never liked it. Sure, it gets wild later, but right now it yeah, kind of sucks. <laughs> maybe with like, no, not even like maybe with later cats or like leveled up ones. Like at any point, I'm pretty sure you're just not anywhere near as good as just being a hunter. Hey, Jill, there I'm a cat. What do you got for me? First A plus. Fuck yeah! Can I even use that? Mulberry, can I even use that? <laughs> Old man's like, fuck off, you goddamn cat. Alright, I have to pull it, I have to roleplay the Billy. What do you have to fucking do? <laughs> uh, kill him with God. <laughs> I think we have to kill him with God. Yeah, I killed 15 Macaw. Oh, Macaw. This is fucking weird. Yeah, it is. It's the power of Bob. Fuck. Eat that point blank boomerang. Why the fuck don't the cats carve the big monsters? What the hell? People fucking <laughs> what? Rolling down, jump off the ledge, go against uh, where I went. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Can attack out of it too. I love how they have infinite bug nets and pickaxes. Really? Yeah. I guess that makes sense that cats do. Like when you're mining, they never stop doing it. They only do it once for each spot, though. I think we keep doing it for uh, bugs when I'm playing as them. Oh, 
when you go over this mining spot and test it. No, I mean when you have them with you, they only gather each spot once. Oh, yeah. Fuck you come at me. You won't. You won't. They really try running away from me with the bomb. Oops. Oh god, no, it's fucking Bob. Yeah, must, Bob must be like super aggressive. He's building meter this fast to get bombs. Mm. What else does this do? Oh, bye. Oh, I can dig around under here. Fucking throw it. Bob never does that. <laughs> You're not role playing as Bob very well, man. You're right, hang on, we go meter again. Yeah, Bob's gotta be fucking on it. Holy shit, this takes a while. Yeah, no, you don't. It's different for the AI. I don't wanna hear it. Bob's just on it. MVP, <laughs> damn it! It's like completely different from the AI. They have a much easier time. One of us. One of us. Yeah, no, the way they just walk like this is pretty fucking creepy. Also, why are you so fast? What the hell? I want the friendship. <laughs> Got packed to something, take it back with me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> quest <laughs> oh boy let's go get some <laughs> fucking mountain herbs their side quest no okay just have to fucking deal with it
So I did get some from Area 2 before on the ledge. Unlucky. I got one. Where the fuck do they carry all the good space for infinite pickaxes? Well, they just have the one god tier pickaxe. Oh, yeah, right. It just spawns into existence when they need it. It's the kind of power they just can't actually, like, verbally say to us. Hmm. Just comes off in cat. <laughs> they also don't want us to know. That's why they only use it once per mining spot. Turn around. Well, I have five. You fucked. <laughs> Shit. I have four, so I just need one more. All right, we're good. Let's get the fuck out of here. Just for how funny I can make this, I don't wouldn't mind the cats returning. Yeah. But only for that reason. I can't say, like, reasonably doing this for, like, fun. I don't know. I, don't, I, I never gave this a serious try. Because I did, like, these missions. It's like, this fucking sucks. This is terrible. Why would anybody do this? You're long. I wish I wasn't. This is about my fourth time here. Pretty unfortunate. I was trying to replicate a cat at 1 a.m. Mm. <laughs> at 1 a.m. middle of summer laying on your head. I was living with a cat that uh, every morning 
it would know like what time I would normally wake up and come into my room 30 minutes before that, jump onto my bed, and circle my head until I woke up so I can go feed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cats will do that shit. I don't know if I want to do this one. Earn oh, that's 1,500 easy. Lyceum points. Lycadium points. I don't know if we can carry eggs, but that's like a thousand right there. Well, we're, we're about to find out. Also, I need to count items and shit count, so... Yeah. I think the nest is in Area 8. Found eggs. Fucker. Oh, we can carry eggs. Yeah, I was trying to get an egg from the fucking geese things or whatever. It's fucking jaggy in my way. Oh my god, get the fuck out of here. Fucking knew we were gonna do this. Oh my fucking god. What was that? You knew we were gonna do this, they said that Jaggy. Can you not sprint or anything? You just have to walk. Uh, you can sprint, just barely faster, so it's just like holding an egg with the hunter. Yeah, but we don't have stamina. Yeah, so we don't have stamina, so it's technically easier. How's the acorn for? I don't know. Is it maybe it's lives? Uh oh. Real shit. Can't fucking catch me. This shit in freedom. You got nothing on me. Got the Z strat down. Serpentine, man. And they all want you to make this really easy for me. And fuck you. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you went in, the one turned around immediately, and I thought it was just going to immediately pounce me.
Here, take your egg. You absolute asshat. One of us. One of us. Oh, hang on, we gotta circle him. Yeah. Be your best friend. He's just like, I don't know what the fuck's happening. If I ignore them, they'll leave. He's not entirely wrong. Oh boy, paintballs. Something, I guess. Oh, let's get the fuck out of these cat suits. They were done? Yeah, that, we only had three. Unless it uh, fucking unlocked a new one I don't know about. This is actually how you progress. Now you only play cats. Hmm. Zan, we're returning these. The cat route. Give me some ivy. Actually, I do have extra cats now. I can start sending them out. This isn't what I want. Take Ivy. Trying to debate where I should go next for the hubs. No, oh, I don't know, man. Go to Kokoto. Go back to Kokoto. Yeah. Kokoto, Poke, and Yakumo. I don't recognize that one. Oh, uh, Yakumo's Gen 3. Yeah. That explains it. Yep. Wow, they have a lot of, like, completely unreal. Oh god, what the fuck is that face? They have a bunch of, like, completely unrelated anime backgrounds.
Ah, yes, finally. The legendary green check mark. I mean, blue check mark. I'm bad with colors, remember? Dude, I want. <laughs> I want the Hermit Crab's gunner helmet so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Is there layered armor in this game? Uh, yes, actually. This is the game that started Dang. it, apparently. Sick. I hope there's... I, I hope, like, the higher ranks of these armors don't look, like, super radically different. This fucking mass is thick. Uh, it's just a gathering one, so we can go in and leave immediately. Pub's up, by the way. <clears throat> we only have two of these this time, instead of four. Interested in gathering on a deserted island? No, not really. Hold on. What? Is the Elder here? Uh, no. It's a different map. I brought tickets. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll chill out here for a moment. Jabudaya then went on a quest to find the Veggie Elder. Mm. <laughs> I feel like you're emulating something not so savory. Brother's sending me stupid memes. Normal. Hmm? Normal. Yeah, pretty much. Let me know if he gives you anything worthwhile. Yeah, I'll let you know if I find him too. Ah. <laughs> hmm. uh... He might be in Area 9. Hey, Hermit Crab. That's a cool effect. They took the time to actually, like, model the reflection of the water onto that wall.
I'm still really tempted to like try and dive into Monster Hunter's lore, but I know it's gonna be all over the fucking place and 90% conjecture. So it makes me not want to look into it. I think I tried looking into it, and it was yeah, it was kind of just all over the place, and nothing entirely made sense. So I just stopped. Mm -hmm. Most of the quote-unquote concrete stuff isn't even canon because a lot of it comes from uh, it's like the stuff about like fatalists destroying the ancient civilization, or at least that's one of the one of the ideas for it. Because of the equal dragon weapon or whatever the fuck. Like, all that stuff is, like, completely non-canon. Because it came from a book about the pre-development ideas for Monster Hunter. Like, the only thing we know for sure is that Fatalist destroyed Castle Strahd. Or Strayed. Whatever. And, you know, then whatever little bits and pieces you get... Throughout the games. Yeah, we did do this one, this little guy, Chris. Well. Wait for ticket. to end it. All right. <laughs> I think the worst part about it, for like looking into it yourself to try and figure out like what's true or not, is a lot of weapons, like in Rise, they brought it back, have like little lore notes and crap on them. So kind of like items in Dark Souls. But you don't know if the stuff written on the weapons is, like, complete myth or actually true to the world. Yeah. Which makes it even worse for trying to figure out the lore. Or how literal it is. Mm-hmm. Well, we were talking about demons the other day, and I was like, or a while Yeah, ago. when we were playing Generations, and I mentioned, not Generations, we were playing Rise, and I mentioned the bow mentioning that it could, like, summon demons, or whatever. The spell book, because it's like a spell book and wand. We're like, oh, well, does that mean demons exist in Monster Hunter lore, or is, just, or is this just some stupid myth? But it could also even not reference, or not be real demons. Yeah, it could not be literal demons, it could be something mistaken for it. Well... Or, um... If, like, we see monsters and say, like, you saw a new monster you never saw before, you might just be like, oh, that's a demon. Or, hell, way back in the day, uh, for the quote-unquote uh, World of Monster Hunter, how you were talking about how fighting a Jaggy is a fucking suicide mission. For all we know, like, back in the day, they'd see, like, a fucking Diablos and be like, oh my fucking god. Like, mistaken for something completely non-existent. Or like maybe seeing an elder dragon. Like go back to like ancient Monster Hunter and see a fucking Camellios and not shit yourself. And then it fucking vanishes. Um One of the more interesting ones. Oh, there's the Veggie Elder. Is I think it's fine. Huh? Oh. Tickets. Um, one of the more interesting ones is on some of the Fatalist armor it talks about how it's still alive like when it's been fashioned into the armor and that there's legends of it growing over the hunter and consuming them and then becoming another Fatalist. So who the fuck knows if that's true or not?
Although, there is something to support the idea that the at least like the armor and stuff that you make from Fatalist is alive. Hi. In uh, Pokey Village, there's a cave that's sealed off for a while until you're a higher rank. And you can go in there. And there is this absolutely fucking massive Fatalist Greatsword in this cave. And you can mine off of it, you can chip pieces off to make stuff out of it, and it regrows. So it's possibly still alive. It could also just, well, this is going too far. <laughs> Go on. I was like, it could also just be that Phalus, given how ancient it is, its scales could have, like, infused some form of, like, a fungus. So, like, the Fatalist is dead, but the fungus attached to its scales is still alive. Yeah. But we'll literally never know. Capture quest. Uh, bring Awakener if you have it. I don't think I do. No, I don't. Drink. That's what we need, not Awakeners. I don't have any, though, so... Oh, I'm like looking around like, what the fuck is an Awakener? <laughs> yeah, my bad. Bring some energy drinks. No, oh, I apparently did have some. Whatever. I have more now. Pretty bitter bug. Yeah, I wonder if that has the effect of Awakener, considering they gave it to us. Not Awakener, god fucking get. Uh, I'm getting it from Pokemon. That's what I'm thinking of when I'm saying that. Pokemon has poisoned me once again. Mm. 
Mephisto. This is a really cool monster. I like Mephisto a lot, but he's really fucking annoying because he leaps everything. He also moves a lot. Oh, now I'm confused. I forgot that was even a status. And he's right. That's a damn shame. And right out the area. No, he's a I'm pretty sure that's why he hasn't been back since. Like, he's awesome, but he's also frustrating as fuck to play against.
fucking god. Mm-hmm. And sleep. Really surprised he didn't get you with that. I just can't fucking move to do anything else. <laughs> myself out of the Ow. Oh my god, bulls become useful. or something. Hang on, I might be dying. Yeah. Yeah. Hell! <laughs> Meanwhile, Bob comes with a bomb. What you gonna do about it? I swear to God. Thought he was about to leave. <laughs>
So, what do you think of Malfesto? That's trash. Yeah. Agree. I uh, hope I don't ever need anything from it. Yeah, if I ended up wanting to make something of his, I'd yell at my brother and be like, Come shit on this for me. Thanks. I have one veggie elder ticket left. Nice. Tenderizer, that would kind of be nice. In low rank, though? Yeah, I mean, it's still crit damage for free, as long as I'm hitting a weak spot. This seems unnecessary for low rank. Oh, that sucks. I thought it was sleep attack, but. It's just negate sleep on the armor. That sleep attack, I would have considered making like a sleep, uh, sleep weapon or something to use, but try to like pair it up with your stupid alchemy bomb whenever you had it. That's not gonna be fun. Fifty best voids. Well, another armadillo. This one's in the jungle, though, so we don't need hot drinks. Or cool drinks. killing me. Well, that was weird. What? There's a random moment where my throat starts to, like, tighten up. 
And then it felt like I hadn't drinking water all fucking day. Like my body just almost instantly shriveled. So I just down the fucking three cups of water next to me. <laughs> That's uh, the moment before spontaneous combustion. <laughs> it starts off with spontaneous mummification. All the water in your system just evaporates and then you explode into flames. We did it. We found out how it works. Uh. <laughs> spontaneous combustion, no longer myth confirmed. God, what if that was a thing? <laughs> just on the metro to school, some fucking guy in the bus just shrivels up completely. It's like, oh god. And then bursts into flames. Life would technically be more interesting if shit like that happened. Also, much more horrifying to just exist. Uh, become normal. Mm. Yeah, I guess. That would just be a thing that happens. And people would have to just live with it. God, imagine if it was the fucking bus driver, though. Mm hmm. God, I hope I never, like, make a game or a TV show or something, because weird shit like that would be in it. Ah, oh, you bastards. That's one long ass tongue, holy shit. God, oh, these fucking herbivores. Oh, go to Kelvin for me. What a small guy. No, I know it's still alive. Yeah, Bob. I move. Moving's illegal. Bad timing. Though the sub quest is to wound his back, by the way. It'll probably happen on its own, but... 
Great. That's exactly what I wanted. What a fucking loser. Like he had you exactly where he wanted you and he didn't capitalize on it. Alright, don't hit me. It's cool. I held that flame towards him. At least he's easy to follow. Like without needing to waste paintballs. Why are you not hitting his head right there? Yep. I don't know how that got you. You were pretty far from it. it must have been like max range or something. That would have been okay. Watch him leave. Cycling through my items and he just was like, oh yeah, use that one. Fucking knows. Maybe not. Fucking Bob. Well, he did a side quest. It's, it's not excused. <laughs> Shiny here, for me at least. Look at Bob, the fucking psycho.
rename the hero you. Duh. I only partially get that reference. Doesn't he? He blows up his Gundam, doesn't he? Like six times. Yeah. Well, one of the times with him on it. <laughs> Fantastic. So have you decided on using the hunting horn as your main, or...? I don't know yet. I want us to finish going through the tutorials. Uh... That's not what I wanted. I mean, Hunting Horn probably would be what I end up using, depending on, I guess, weapon progressions. Right. So I can easily be like, oh, I like all of the notes I have here. But then, like, every upgrade later might completely change it. I don't think that happens. If anything, it actually might happen, considering the branch you could pick. The upgrade system in this game is weird. As you've seen, I'm sure. You can constantly upgrade your one weapon, and then as you upgrade it further, you unlock other branches you could pick. But... Yeah, but at a certain point, it's gonna stop being useful compared to another branch. Yeah, at some point, you have to pick another branch to continue upgrading it. And... The branch you pick might not necessarily be the continuation of the one that you're already using. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. But most of them for a while should at least have a continuation of the current song list. This is just a kill ten herbivore thing. Or deliver ticket. Uh, the ticket comes after you kill him. Why does it say kill ten or deliver ticket then? I don't know.
Maybe they maybe you could get the ticket if you kill the Kaku, who knows? All right, you two cards from these. Goku's gotta be like in area 5 if he's not in area 10. Maybe considering it is one of the nest areas. Oh, yeah, there he is. That's a weak roar, dude. Goku, okay, you are trash. <laughs> Yeah, he's trash as long as there's no Kanchu around. Which I haven't seen yet in this game. With Kanchu, he becomes really annoying. Done? You need to change Bob's preference to large monsters, dude. He's over there fucking around with the macaw. I haven't touched any of her stuff. He's gonna have his moment against Fadeless and a fucking lava snake's gonna come out of the ground. He's gonna be like, ah, my time has come. He's gonna bomb that instead. And as long as he kept that thing off of me while I'm trying to fight Fadeless, that's okay. <laughs> Really? I have the worst luck with that. Anytime I use it, the monster like barely misses or just doesn't attack me.
I just tried to use the radio menu. I haven't done that this entire time, but for some reason... I, I miss it so much, dude. It's a really nice quality of life thing. Like, I give World and Rise, especially Rise, a lot of shit. But the quality of life stuff was so much better. Exhausted. Aged. <laughs> yeah. These fucks never see this coming. It's dying. God fucking it. What? Everything's dead. I can't do anything. Uh oh. You were knocking me down. Kaku knocked me down. Herbivore knocked me down. Getting juggled. Where's you at? Yep. What? Sure, you want to stop there? You're a little off the map. Oh, yeah. the next one. He's probably like, <laughs> there's probably the landing spot outside, and you crawl back in. Yeah, there he is. I'm gonna yeah, catch him. Goes to nine. Yeah, I'm gonna catch him. I might possibly want some of his later. It would be nice to get his fucking ears. Uh Yeah, it seems like the pop uh patch ticket might be there now. I'm gonna keep killing these just in case. It's like, oh yeah, I have one of those. <laughs> the hidden secret way to end the quest early. <laughs> Talk to Veggie Elder. It would be interesting if they did stuff like that with them. Like, you had a really low chance of just ending the quest early for you. You go in, you talk to him, it's like, What? You're here to kill Rathian? And I already did that. You can oh, take the credit. Like, oh, yeah. And just, what was used fucking Dark Souls? Was it the fucking Black Dragon in the DLC? Uh, kill me. Out of the sky. Oh, fucking gets doffed. <laughs> uh, Hawkeye right out. Yeah, does that? Zerathian is right in front of you. <laughs> you can leave now. I was quite the expert back in my day. Fucking boomer. Thanks for killing it, though.
Also, I didn't realize that these fucking rhino things can use dig. I've never seen that before. Ready? Hmm? Better get earthquake ready. Yeah. Use rough divide and just cut through the ground and slice them in half. I call it that because I don't know its actual name. We did it, right? Did what? We have to kill ten of them. Oh. That's six more. Because I'm not seeing them anywhere. Yeah, I'm not either at the moment. They stopped spawning in three. Oh, here's some. Two more. We'll see three here. You just weren't here when I was here last time. Just need me to leave. Don't run from me. There we go. Yeah, we'll defeat ten of these guys, or deliver a ticket. Yeah, it's really get the ticket. It's really stupidly worded. Fuck, the old man just sneezed on me. Hey, Kaku here. Giant beak, nice. Well, speaking of not seeing Kanchu, there's a slight 20 of them.
Blows my cat. Thirteen. Trap type moves and lowers their gauge consumption. That's cool. Additional support moves. Headphones just slap the mic. <clears throat> I think I might be dead after this one. All right. Snarf to slay, as well as the Conchu. Oh, these fucks. For some reason, their backs are the hardest thing known to whatever the hell our race is. Like, I'm pretty sure even Purple Sharpness in G-Rank can't cut through them. You have to have Handicraft. Handicraft? Not Handicraft. Um, uh, Mind's Eye. I could be wrong. A.K. I could be misremembering. I'm pretty sure, though. You also have to use the long sword. <laughs> no. Gotta be this eighteen thousand fold katana. <laughs> Has to vibrate like fucking gray foxes or whatever. Did did gray foxes katana vibrate? No. Okay, so that was just in rising. His did. Gray Fox is just that weeb. Yeah, pretty sure Gray Fox and um, Mega Solid One just had like a normal fucking katana. He's just that good, man. Until uh, he got stomped much. out. <laughs> he was beyond human perfection. He has ascended. Damn it. Wrong. It's here. I tried paintballing it, but it went into the sand. Oh. Alright. It's killing them. <laughs> <laughs> it knows the only way for it to live is to win. And by for it to win, I mean living by forcing us to win.
This was actually another monster I thought was going to be in Rise. Because I believe this Tetsuka Bar and Zamtrios are the only um, amphibians. So seeing the baby Tetsuka Bara and the Zamites, I was like, ah, oh, cool, the amphibians are all going to be here. It would have been weird to have both of those, but not him. To me, at least. And at the moment, I can't even recall if there's a desert in Rise. Yeah. We fight Diabolos. Right. Stop bullying me. No. Ow. Half the bully. Requirement of revenge. Oh, that's an invisible wall. Yeah, I'm noticing that's fucking me. I just do this. No. Really? Did, did, can I just not counter that or what? What's up with that? Still here. Right out of the area. Cheater. Them before we get a chance. He gave up. Never mind. He's just contemplating life decisions. just blew himself up before moving to the next area. He's boosting. Mm. Damage boosting right into the next area. Easy strat. Like that, that one uh, streamer we were watching. Ow. I don't know do that. I don't. We're playing Frontier or Frontier Freedom. Or debating. Oh, yeah. right. Um, the guy who was speedrunning for uh, Freedom Night. Yeah. Actually damage boosting up the fucking cliffs. Fucking smart. I never would have thought of that. I would have kept watching his stream, but I fucking forgot to follow him. I'd never seen speedruns of the older Monster Hunters until that day. I've just seen a couple of, um, World. Yeah. Because they showed World at GDQ a couple times. that. Huh. If you stand right here, you get a really weird filter on your screen. Yeah. Well, you see a lot. That's like also the border leading to the next area. Yeah. I 
I guess I just hadn't noticed it previously. Okay. What? I think I'm gonna start by the way the ground and do nothing. Yeah, I don't. I don't get it. Like we haven't gotten the sonic bomb effect off on him yet. You think it's just when he's burrowing, but it's not. No. Oh, he's dying. He failed. He just had to kill two more countries and he would have driven us away. There might be two there. Yeah, big brain strats. Fucking left us to go <laughs> kill him. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure if I'd be upset or not. Oh, there are actually two Kanchu here. I'm just gonna trap them. <laughs> Fuck out of here, crab. Did it. Oh my god. Fucking bug piles on top of it. Oh, there we go. Oh, the Harmator gave up on life. Fucking orange sweatpants on. <laughs> Going to Applebee's tomorrow. <laughs>
It kind of sucks that we're making money from faster than we can use it. Or at least that I am. So I feel like I'm losing out. I bought a bunch of shit for that reason. Because that, that was happening to me earlier. So like instead of just buying, like, oh, I'll buy 99 herbs right now, I'd buy 99 herbs like six times. <laughs> Do those like wet stones, antidotes, warm drinks, cool drinks, uh, iron pickaxes, and bug nets, barrel bomb larges, traps, tranquilizers. You want to be a gun guy? You can. You know, buy your ammo and shit, and buy that in, like, mass. Yeah. So, you done for the day? Yeah. Alright. Are you up for playing tomorrow, or...? Uh... Maybe later. Like, later, later. Like, five or something? Four? Yeah, somewhere around there. Like somewhere in the afternoon? Yeah. Alright. I guess I'll take a break and I'll... I, I think I'm gonna go for a little bit longer. Like an hour, maybe two hours longer. I'll work on the uh, village quests. Oh boy, what do you have for me now, Courier? It is a slug. What? Going through the village quest when I was doing it earlier was just like, oh my oh, god. Oh yeah, it's... It's not fu very fun early. Because it's... I know all the one star are like, the absolute pointless grind quests. And I think like half of the... Uh, Two stars are as well. So I need, need to collect three moths, some Kelby horns, abyssal mushrooms, and ten macaw. Fill for one stars. It's part of the reason I kept not wanting to restart this game when my saving of generations got deleted. But if Zan kept being like, oh, dude, come on, you gotta. Yeah, play with me again and all that. And I was like, fine, and I eventually restarted. I spent like 60 hours or something redoing that shit, and it got deleted again, so I just stopped. Until he, you know, did it again. I was like, fine, fine, I'll give it one more fucking chance. And then, you know, uh, I didn't get that far again. But my saving, once again, into thin air, gone, Thanos snapped. I swore I wouldn't do it again, and then he forced this game on me. And you. Well, that's what it was. I was the fucking handcuff for you. Pretty much, because if he wouldn't have forced it on you as well, I would not be playing this. Like, it's... I'm having fun with it. But it's the fourth time I've been starting this fucking game over. <laughs> So he got his 10,000 IQ play for once. Alright man, I'll talk to you uh, tomorrow at some point. Good oh. night. Oh. And as for me, I will be back in... A couple minutes, five at the most.